You are listening to Power Score's Featured Law School's podcast series. Today's Featured Law School is the University of Chicago Law School. Currently ranked number five by the U.S. News and World Report, Chicago Law has a total full-time enrollment of about 634 students and currently costs a little over $45,000 for both in-state and out-of-state students. For the 2013 graduating class, Chicago Law had close to a 15% acceptance rate. And when it came to the admission for the fall of 2010, the median LSAT score was a 170, while the median GPA was a 3.73. Representing the University of Chicago Law School in our podcast today is the Dean of the Law School, Michael Schill, and the current President of the Law Student Association and student in the 2011 graduating class, Tracy Tong. Dean Schill says there are many things that make his law school different. One, he says, is the fact that Chicago is the only small and elite law school in a major city. So I think one of the main differences of Chicago is our size. You know, we are one of the smaller law schools in the country, uh, and size allows students to have much more personal contact with professors. It also allows them to be part of a community. They know everyone. Uh, they, they develop deep friendships. And one of the things about law schools is that many of your friends for the rest of your life are going to be from law school. Many of your clients, many of your referrals are going to be from law school. So getting to know people well, which is facilitated in a small environment, is really important. It's also better to be in a small environment when you have, uh, in terms of placement outcomes. Uh, you know, we have a very small class. You can get a lot of individualized attention, not just from the professors, but you can get a lot of individualized attention, one-on-one coaching, one-on-one advice uh, from our placement office. And so students really take advantage of that. And, you know, many ways the school has all the virtues of being a world-class law school and a world-class university, but still being run in a mom-and-pop way in terms of you really, it's a personalized, uh, personalized institution, and it's really wonderful. Second thing uh, that I think makes the school different is our academic rigor. Uh, This school is known around the entire country as a school in which students learn an amazing amount, and employers know this. They respect it. They all tell me about it when I travel around the country, that they know that someone who goes to Chicago knows the law, knows what it means to be a lawyer, and is really, really smart. And that's very important, should be very important to students. Also, we have an amazing student body. I mean, they're really smart, really engaged. Uh, They're diverse in all respects, including something that a lot of schools don't talk about, which is diverse in politics. I mean, our students, we have a huge number of students who are politically conservative and also a huge number who are politically liberal. And they get along with each other, they do events together, and it really provides an ideal learning environment because people are talking to each other and with each other um, rather than at each other, and that's very important. Also, I would think something that should be important to people is being at a world-class university. Law school has become increasingly interdisciplinary. People who want to employ our students want to know that you know more than what's in the books upstairs, that you have an understanding of science, that you have an understanding of economics, sometimes an understanding of philosophy and of history. And we have that at the University of Chicago. I mean, you know, you can't walk across the street without running into a Nobel Prize winner. And so it's really an amazing, amazing place. And we encourage our students, and lots of them take classes across um, in the college and in other parts of the university. Our faculty is an amazing faculty. I mean, many, I'm sure every law school dean is going to say that. And, you know, I can actually be one who truly believes it. And our faculty is really just a stellar faculty, and they they care about teaching. I mean, I know this because I, you know, I hire faculty, and faculty do not get appointed at this school, no matter how great a scholar they are, unless they teach and unless they care about students. That is very different um, about our school as compared to other law schools. 
One more thing I'll just mention is that, you know, we are the only small elite law school in the major city. Uh, and that's incredibly important. Now, some people won't like that, and, and maybe they shouldn't come here. But what you know, we have Chicago. Chicago is a world class city. There's opportunities, job opportunities that are amazing. The level of practice in Chicago is is really outstanding, and the city is just you know bubbling over with lots of things to do. So you know, we don't want our students studying every moment. We want them getting out seeing the museums, seeing um, the, you know, sports teams. And also one thing you don't necessarily think about with Chicago is the environment. I mean, the lake, everything revolves around the lake, running, biking, hiking, swimming even in the lake. Uh, the people are just really, it's a wonderful place to be. Uh, so I would really think all of those things differentiate our school from other schools. And when asked what kind of advice he has for potential applicants, Dean Schill says that since their law school is small and elite, they take few applicants. So he suggests to do well in college and study on the LSAT. So obviously, uh, the, the one bit of advice would be if, the, if we're one year out or two years out from the application is do well in school, uh, prepare for the LSAT. Those things matter to us. I mean, we we have you know, we have a very elite student body, and uh, you know we take the very very brightest students. And one way that we see that is by people's scores on uh, standardized tests and by their how they did in in college. Now that's not the only thing. So when you're applying to school, um, you know don't short the fact that we look at things in addition to grades and GP grades and LSAT. Not in, what I'm saying is in addition to and not in substitution for. And so we want to see, because we have tons of people who are going to have, you know, 171s, 172s, 173s, 174s, 178s on their LSATs. Uh, but we pick a very small group. So we're a very small class of 180 to 185. And so we take a very small number of students from an applicant pool that's over 5,500. So what you want to do is show all of yourself, show all of the things that you bring to the table, your extracurriculars, your, you know, what makes you special? Because we're trying to put together a really great group of students here. And being smart is, and doing well in college are necessary but not sufficient. Dean Schill goes on to suggest that students should come and visit, and when you do, he says, you will see how much the teachers and administrators care about you and how beautiful the law school really is. So what I tell them is I'd say, come visit us. You know, come spend some time at the law school. We generally find that everybody who comes here stay, wants to be here. Uh, our, you get a chance to meet our students. You get a chance to sit in classrooms. Uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about, which is a really engaged student body, very small classes, uh, professors who really are really terrific teachers, administrators who really care about you, and you just get this wonderful vibe and great feeling. We also have a gorgeous law school, so I think that people will really love being here, and that, that, that will sell it. Um, and, you know, what I would also say uh, in terms of deciding whether where you're going to go is to focus on some of the things that I mentioned earlier, such as, you know, do you want to be in a big school where you can be more anonymous or do you want a small school where you likely be more engaged? Um, that that is matters. I mean, if you're going to be at a school with, you know, 1,000, 1,500 students, that's a very different feeling from here. Um, you know, I think it's vastly superior to be at a small school, I went to one, and I would think any student would want to go to one. But nonetheless, it's something you should consider. Uh, I also think that you should think about, you know, you know, you should understand that, that we have a grading system here at Chicago, and we're not embarrassed to have a grading system. Most law schools have now moved away from uh, grades that mean anything, and employers know that. And they're, everybody just gets, you know, skeptically looked at it during interviews, uh, whereas at Chicago, you do well here, everybody's going to know you're a star, and they're going to want to hire you. And that's one of the reasons why we have much better placement than many of our P3 
peer schools. So that should be something you should think about. Dean Schill finishes his comments on his law school by discussing the aspects that many people don't know about Chicago's law program. Think about a couple things that we might not be known about, uh, known for, and that would include we, we have launched a, an amazing public interest program at the law school. We have an LRAP, which is now second to none and probably better than any other in the country. Uh, we have uh, guaranteed funding for our students. We have a full, you know, we have full-time counselors who will be working with you one-on-one. We have uh, a, a wonderful cohort of students, and we have an amazing public interest community here that you can work with. We also have really unique and exciting clinics at the law school. Most clinics, you go in for a quick shot of maybe a semester or so. Here, most students who are in clinics are here almost two years in the clinic. And what they do is they get to see cases from soup to nuts, from cradle to grave. And uh, that is a really, really wonderful experience. They all come away amazed by that. And we have a great clinical program, which we're growing. And, you know, I, I'm not sure that everybody knows that, but because we haven't really announced it, uh, but but it is that is what uh, is going to happen at the school. So, you know, for all those reasons, I think, and all the reasons I gave earlier about being at a world class university, being in a great city um, and being at a place uh, where there's you know really great academics and student body. Those are all reasons I would tell someone come to Chicago. When it comes to the student body perspective of the University of Chicago Law School, a student in the 2011 graduating class and current president of the Law Student Association, Tracy Tong, says her favorite aspect of the law school is the personal experience you get at Chicago. My favorite aspect of the law school is um, its small size. I mean, when I was looking at law schools, um, the fact that Chicago had a really small student body was a huge plus for me. Um, I was coming from a really large um, public school, and so I was looking for a more personal law school experience. Um, and I definitely, now reflecting um, back on my law school experience as a 3L, I definitely think that the small size has really benefited um, my law school experience. Um, I mean, for one thing, I'm able to identify all of my classmates, um, and I really think that's helped me in um, being able to develop and maintain relationships with all my classmates. Um, and in, in addition to that, I mean, the small size also, um, I think, lends itself to creating um, more opportunities for student and faculty interaction. Um, so I definitely think that I made the right choice in picking a smaller school, um, and I, that's definitely my favorite aspect of U Chicago. Tracy also says a great aspect of the law school is the diverse student life. I've been on the Law Student Association now for three years, um, so I think I've um, been able to uh, see exactly the whole spectrum of student life at the law school. And, I mean, in terms of student organizations, there are just so many um, different student organizations considering how small the school is. I mean, obviously, they're the, the typical like, political student organizations. Um, but in addition to that, there are student organizations that um, pursue um, different academic and interdisciplinary interests. Um, like, for instance, last month, um, uh, the Law Students Association voted to recognize um, a student organization that's interested in the nexus between law and the mind sciences, which I thought was really cool. Um, and then also there are student orgs that allow law students to do a lot of volunteer work. I mean, we had um, the International uh, Human Rights Student Organization um, just came back from a trip to India where they were working with some local legal aid clinics. Um, and I know that they had a really good time and they found it really rewarding. Um, so I guess it would just be really diverse. And I mean, in addition to that, like, obviously, like, we're all law students and we are all studying very hard. Um, but um, the Law Student Association tries really hard to put on um, a few big social events every year to get <laughs> students out of the library um, and uh, just give them some opportunities to socialize outside of the the school and outside of the classroom. So I think the biggest one that I think people are most looking forward to, um, the biggest social event definitely would be law school prom, which is coming up in, in May. Um, and I think people find it um, really funny because it's kind of supposed to be like a tongue-in-cheek kind of thing, um, like a, a play on like high school prom. So um, I definitely think that, yeah, student life, there's just like a, do- a bunch of different opportunities um, and a bunch of different social events that really just um, create a really fun and interesting um, law school experience. And finally, Tracy suggests for prospective students to visit the school. She says that if you like both the law school and the city of Chicago, it will be a great place for you. 
I would definitely tell them um, if they're thinking about coming to the University of Chicago, I would really recommend come out and visit the law school. Um, I definitely know that um, when I was trying to choose a law school, um, the thing that sold me was attending um, Chicago's Admitted Students Weekend. Um, I mean, you have the opportunity to meet students, hear what they like about the law school. Um, you can meet faculty members um, and just uh, get a sense of whether you would fit in at the law school. Um, and also, like, the... I think it's really important to visit as well because, I mean, in addition to spending three years at the law school, you're also going to be spending three years um, in a new city. And so I was really excited um, to see Chicago when I came out to Chicago, uh, University of Chicago's um, in mid students again. Um, and I felt like it was a city that I could live in for three years. So, I mean, I think it's really important that students who are um, trying to take a law school come out and visit the law school to see if they would fit in at the student body and at the law school, but also to see if um, they could live in um, in the city for three years. And after visiting um, Chicago during the Admitted Students Weekend, I felt really confident um, about the fact that I could fit in at the, at the law school um, with the other students, but also that I would have a lot of fun in Chicago as well. Thank you for listening to Power Scores podcast series. If you want more information on Power Scores podcasts or services, please visit powerscore.com. Or you can call 1-800-545-1750.